Which word would you use if you needed to describe a person who doesn't have all their fingers on one hand? Okay, wait, wait. Which word would you use if you needed to describe a person who doesn't have all their fingers on one hand? So they're missing fingers on a hand. So what would they be? The word is an amputee, right? Like if someone is missing a leg, they're called an amputee, right? We're gonna go with that. You have 10 seconds to come oh. up with the correct adjective. Okay, we're just gonna skip. Should I pause it for the next one? Or should I let the 10 seconds go? Because when the 10 seconds is going, like, let's, let's okay. Yeah, it like stresses me out. It'll probably be more entertaining if I let the 10 seconds go, but we already gave me a 10 seconds, so let's just skip ahead a little bit. Okay, am I right? You should just call this person normal. What? So about you, but I have all 10 of my fingers divided onto two hands with five on each. Okay, well, <laughs> obviously, oh my gosh. I thought they meant like, if you don't have all your fingers, like if you're missing one, like if you have four fingers on this hand, but hmm. Well, as you guys could tell, today we're gonna be doing a common sense test. And if you look at the top left here, 90% of the people fail and I'm already off to a bad start. So let's see if I pass the test We're gonna put up a, a score somewhere around here and I want you guys to keep track as well And let's do this. Let's see if I can pass with a 50% two. All right. We tested your anatomy now some geography if a Winnipeg guys Winnipeg actually here's Calgary. That's where I am right now I actually at the time you guys are watching this video. I'll be right here in Dauphin I'm actually surprised Dauphin is on this map because Dauphin is like a small place But anyway, okay, sorry if a plane crashes right on the border between Canada and the United States Where should they bury the survivors? Wait, 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 oh, man These questions are impossible if a plane crashes right on the border between Canada and the United States Where should they bury or is it bury? I never um, know how to pronounce bury Bury. Bury the survivors. You need to use your common sense. So I'm going to say, where should they bury them? It's not going to be in Canada or United States. It'll be underground. That's final. That's Are you supposed final. to know international Sorry. aviation laws or something? Well, take 10 seconds to figure it out. Sorry, I shouldn't have paused it. I shouldn't have paused it. Next one, we won't pause. Made up your mind? Underground. Canada, underground. USA. Hmm. But are you 100% sure they bury the survivors? Oh my gosh! Are you serious? Ow! 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 That actually hurt! Ow! Like I'm about to start tearing up. Ow. I don't know why guys, but all of a sudden, these past few days I've got so many pimples on my forehead and I just hit it so hard and the pimple hurt. Ouch. Ouch. Am I bleeding now? Ow. That hurt. Ow! And like, I've been drinking lots of water, guys. I think the reason I get lots of pimples is because I have like 17 million cups of milk a day. And I've heard from people that dairy causes pimples. Just kidding, realistically, I probably have like in between four and six cups of milk a day. And I wash my face. I have special stuff to wash my face. Doesn't seem to work, but okay, here we go. Three. Okay, how about this one? Imagine that you just entered a pitch black room. There's an oil lamp, a newspaper, and some kindling wood inside the room. But you only have one match. You have to make a tough choice. What will you light first? I have one match. Oh, there's the timer. One match. Okay, I gotta go before the timer ends. So if you have one match, you could technically use the match, but I'm gonna go with the- The oil lamp is oil, definitely yes. a good choice. No, but it's an oil lamp. I don't even know what the heck an oil lamp is, but I'm assuming you need oil to fire it up. Hmm. I, I don't know, guys. I'm failing. Place, I'm, I'm gonna fail still this incorrect. Test. First of all, You'll need to light the match. Okay, so I, I'm stupid. You can use a match on the oil lamp. I don't know why they call it an oil lamp. Just call it a, a lamp. You'll need to light the match. That's true. Because how the heck are you going to light any of those if you haven't lit the match? Four. Mrs. Brownie, despite her name, loves the color pink. Her bungalow is decorated entirely in the bubblegum color. Pink carpet, furniture, curtains, even the walls are pink. So what color do you imagine the stairs are? Okay, I have to pause. These questions are too, like, ooh, my brain, man. What color do you imagine the stairs are? Pink. Okay, let me let me rewatch or re-listen to this question again, because I feel like the wording in the question is trickery. Mrs. Brownie, despite her name, loves the color pink. Her bungalow is decorated entirely in the bubblegum color. Pink carpet, furniture, curtains, even the walls are pink. So what color do you imagine the stairs are? Pink! If the carpet's pink, the furniture's pink, the wall's pink, the, the stairs are pink. No, the stairs are brown. Because her name's Brownie. 
Perhaps if there were stairs, they would most likely be pink, but it's bungalows bungalow. just have one floor. No stairs needed. 5. One day a man got caught Zero in the four. pouring rain. Unfortunately, he had no umbrella or hat or anything else he could use to stay dry. Yet not a single hair on his head got wet. How so? He doesn't have hair! He's bald! Let's go! One out of five, baby. The answer is so simple, you'll want to slap yourself for not thinking of it. I've already the man myself. was bald. Yes. Six. Oh, great. How can it be that every single person in a plane crash died, but two people survived? This is a straight up paradox, and you have only huh? 10 seconds to explain it. Every single person in the plane crash died, but two people survived. No, no, no. How can it be that every single person in a plane crash died, but two. They didn't survive if every per person died. The thing died. is that those two survivors were married. Every single person. Ah, I see what they did there. Seven. Time for a tricky one, so be very attentive. They're what all tricky. What do you sleep on, sit on, and brush your teeth with? I have to pause it. What do you sleep on, sit on, and brush your teeth with? What do you sleep on? A bed. What do you sit on? A chair. And what do you brush your teeth with? A toothbrush. What do you sleep on? Your body. What do you sit on? Your body. And what do you brush your teeth with? Your body. That's the final. Your body. A bed, a chair, and a toothbrush. Ow. Common sense, remember? Don't overcomplicate things. Half a point. Half a point. <laughs> Eight. In some months, there are 31 days. In others, there are 30. I'm terrible But how months. many months have 28 days? How many months have 28 days? Common sense would be to count the months that have 28 days, and that's the answer. But I don't know how many have 28 days. February? Does February have 28 days? I feel like February. I don't know. I'm terrible with months, guys. Like, it took me until a couple years ago to get the months, like, in order. Like, January... March, just kidding, it was a prank. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, something. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> if I thought hard enough, I could get them. But we're going to ask Siri, how many months have 28 days? February. I was right. February is the only one. So one. No! Ha <laughs> ha ha! They all have 28 days. So, is it just one? February, right? Nope. The answer is actually 12. All 12 months have 28 days. Press the like button if you got that one. Oh, let me go down. Slap that like button, baby, because I got that one. Boom. And if you guys got that one too, slap it. From head to toe was walking in the middle of the road. All of a sudden, a huge black car with its headlights off came around the corner and screeched to a halt not to... I, I didn't get any of that. Did this ever happen to you guys? The teacher is like reading to you and you're thinking about other things. Or you're reading your own book, but you're thinking about other things and you just read words, but you don't comprehend it. That's what just happened there. I, don't, I didn't get anything. So let's go back. Nine. A man dressed in all black from head to toe was walking in the middle of the road. All of a sudden, a huge black car with its headlights off came around the corner and screeched to a halt not to hit him. How on earth did the driver of the car see the man in black? And 10 seconds on the clock. No, we're pausing. Wait. If you need more time, just pause the video. Okay, so I'm not cheating. This makes no sense. How did he see him? With his eyes. I bet that's the answer. Okay. A man dressed in all black from head to toe was walking in the middle of the road. Okay. All of a sudden, a huge black car with its headlights off. No headlights. Came around the corner and screeched to a halt not to hit him. How on earth did the driver of the car see him? Well, they never said it's nighttime. So with his eyes. Right? Common sense. Well, it's kind of hard not to notice a man dressed completely in black during the daytime. I got it. I got it. I said it's daytime. And Ten. I said with your eyes. There were three highly important rooms in the house of an extremely important man. One room was filled with valuable secret documents. The second one was full of money. And in the third room, the man kept expensive jewelry. But one day, an arsonist set the house on fire and all the highly important rooms burst into flames. Which of the rooms did the police start to extinguish the fire first and foremost? One room was filled with valuable secret documents. The second one was full of money. And in the third room, the man kept expensive jewelry. Which of the rooms did the police start to extinguish the fire? Wait, 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 wait. An arsonist set the house on fire and all the highly important rooms burst into flames. Which of the rooms did the police start to extinguish the fire first and foremost? The first room that was caught on fire? The room closest to the entrance? That's common sense. 
right? I mean, I'm not a fireman, but if you go into a house, I'm sure you don't walk upstairs through the fire. You blast what you see first, so that's my answer. But well, let's get one thing straight. The police don't put out fires. Wow. Firefighters do. I even said it. I'm not a fireman. 11. What's the biggest problem with snow boots? That's a pretty random question. Still, take 10 seconds to think of your complaints about this winter weather must have. What's the biggest problem with them? <laughs> what? What's the biggest problem with them? You get hot in them if it's the summertime. If there's no snow, you get hot in them or you can't run as good. I don't know. <laughs> snow boots melt as soon as you take them home or spring comes. Oh, because these ones are made of snow. That's stupid. What kind of question is that? I guess they didn't call it winter boots. That's what I call them, winter boots. <sighs> Whatever. Gotcha. Yeah, you did get me. God, good one, good one, got me good. 12. How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? You don't put a giraffe in a refrigerator. That, right? <laughs> I don't know. That's my final answer. I'm not even going to say you can cut it up. No, you don't put one in there. So here's exactly how you do it. You open the fridge and put the giraffe inside. Then it's better to close the door so you won't let the cold out. This question in particular shows if you tend to overcomplicate things. 13. Now, how do you put an elephant in a fridge? Open the door, put the elephant in. You don't put an elephant in. It's going to say that this time. Same with this last one. You open the door and put them in. Common sense. But no, common sense is they don't fit in an... I don't know any giraffe that would fit in my fridge. Same with the elephant. All right, listen carefully. Yeah, I'm listening, Open bro. the fridge. Take the poor frozen giraffe out. I literally made a TikTok about this. I made a TikTok like this. The elephant in and close the door. If you remember the giraffe, you're good at thinking about repercussions of your actions. Yeah, well, how was I supposed to know that it was the same question? Whatever. 14. <clears throat> Noah builds one more ark and invites all the world's animals to join him. Every single animal gets on board, except for one. What animal doesn't board the ark? How would I know? What animal doesn't board? A dinosaur. What animal doesn't board? A dinosaur. A dinosaur. cat, a dog. Dinosaurs. It's the elephant, of course. It's still in the <laughs> Good one. fridge, <laughs> poor thing. If you got this one right, your memory is razor sharp. Yeah, but how am I supposed to know that you're still talking about the last one? Every other one has been like separate things, and now all of a sudden you've done three that are talking about the same thing. So now this next one, number 15, I'm going to just assume that you're talking about the, the stupid animals again. 15. You're hiking in the wilderness when you come upon a river. You have oh. to cross it, but you know that crocodiles dwell in rivers there. How can you reach the opposite side without becoming a crocodile's dinner? You get the elephant and ride it across. Common sense. How do you reach the other side? Imagine if it's actually you ride the elephant, you hop on the giraffe. Okay, how do you get onto the other side without being eaten by... I feel like this one is to do with the last one again. I feel like when I made that TikTok, it was something similar to this. I swear this was part of it. I swear. It, it was. I know it was. Let me, let me, I gotta get this right. Let me listen. I don't know if I'm, I think, yeah, I'm gonna fail this test, but let me just. Up on a river. You have to cross it, but you know that crocodiles dwell in rivers there. How can you reach the opposite side without becoming a crocodile's dinner? I don't know, guys. It's us I'm using too much brain power. If we're looking at the map, here's the river. Just go around the river. That's what I'm gonna say. That would be common sense, right? Don't worry. Just swim across the river. There's no danger. All the crocodiles are on Noah's Ark. Ah! Uh, I knew it! I didn't know it, but I knew it! I think the video I made, it wasn't Noah's Ark. It was like, it was just a boat. Like, the animals are on a boat. I knew it had something to do with it. Okay. Is that it? I Did failed. Did you figure I don't this know. one out? No, if I didn't. If so, it shows you can quickly learn from your mistakes. Now you're assuming I got the previous ones wrong, hey? Because you know I'm going to get them wrong because you're a trickery. <sighs> Let me know in the comments below what you guys got. And yeah, what, what the, what's the date today? Today is Wednesday, December 21st for me. But wait, I'm trying to think. When this video goes live, it'll be Sunday. And Sunday is Christmas. So I hope you guys had an amazing... Oh my gosh. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. Let me know down below what you guys got for Christmas. Even though, guys, Christmas isn't all about presents. It's about spending time with 
with your family. That's why I'll be in Dauphin, my hometown. Going to be spending time with some family. So these past few days have been grinding out videos. So I don't, I hopefully don't miss any uploads for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you slap that like button. No, you should have already slapped that like button. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.